Hi everyone and welcome back to Prefusion. So today we have got Sumeda with us. So she has uh, got a great rank in Gate 2025 EE examination. So let's get to know more about Sumeda and uh, her Gate preparation journey. So hi everyone. My name is Sumeda Hoshchodhari. I am a third year undergraduate student of Chadhapur University in the Department of Electrical Engineering. Uh, I have scored uh, 55.3 marks in GATE 2025 and have a rank of 359. Okay, so like that is actually quite a remarkable achievement. Like you are in third year and you are able to score this great of marks and this great rank. So let's start with your preparation journey. So when did you thought of uh, attempting this GATE paper? When you thought like I need to write the GATE examination? I came to know of Gate when I entered the university, but I was not very serious about it in the beginning. I thought of attempting Gate when I was in the, my second year, but started preparing only, I think, in my in the beginning of my third year. Okay, okay. And like, what have you covered from Prefusion specifically? If you want to say uh, the subjects that you covered, I have covered analog electronics and. Network theory from Prefusion in great detail. Okay, okay. So you uh, like started preparing from second year onwards. So uh, mainly, uh, did you uh, follow the college subjects only? Uh, like parallelly, you used to study the college subjects, whatever is going on in the college scene, you used to tally with the gate uh, examination, or like there was some other preparation strategy that you used? So I used to, like, mainly, I did not prepared very well for my gate like separately I mainly followed my college curriculum and whatever I felt there was a gap in the uh, understanding of the concepts I used to like just take help from the internet from YouTube and apart from that mainly from my college curriculum side by side I used to study okay so how you used to manage the time basically because you obviously have like lab vivers classes so it's it takes roughly the whole day and then uh like did you used to study every day when you come back home or like sometimes you used to skip studying or something like like when you actually dedicatedly started preparing for gate and initially i think it was just you were not dedicatedly preparing but at the later stage i think you gave full focus so uh even till the difference of the study hours it's like to be honest i was preparing for my internships during my summer break after my second year so during that time i had studied control network analog uh, in details but after that when my college started i was dedicatedly preparing for my semesters my labs and viva as like you said uh, after my semester exams that is in november december so from then on like mid december to the whole of january I dedicated for gate only like uh, revised whatever I was taught and covered signals and subjects like that. Okay, so dedicatedly you prepared only for two months, but still you are able to get a, such a great rank. So, uh, like how you used to revise basically? So you have your medial full notes. You made any short notes as well, or just only the full notes were enough? And how you used to revise those notes? Uh, I had made short notes, like not for uh, analog and network, I did not have short notes, but apart from that other subjects, I made a small, like, uh, five, 10 pages of formulae and, like, key concepts. Apart from that, like, I for network and analog, I had my full notes, which I was revising. For signals control, I had, like, short notes, which I was referring to. Okay. And how you used to revise? Basically, go, just go through the notes or you used to write down something, formulas or like you used to practice questions. What was the method of revising? It's like I had gone through the full notes once and then the short notes itself was like when I was revising, I was like not seeing, like, like not referring to anything else and writing down the formula. So like my short notes itself was a form of revision for me. Okay. Okay. Short notes through short notes you used to revise. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, let's come to test series. Like you told me that you had not given any test series, no test series at all. You just practiced the PYQs. Mm -hmm. So uh, had you made any strategy before going through the exam that I will attempt like this? Because without test series, like how do you know, like how will you perform basically in that in three hour environment? That is the most surprising test. <laughs> Zero test, you have got this rank. Right. 
actually like the pyq is also i was like doing only two weeks before the actual examination so i was like sure that i will not be able to attempt any questions from machines and power systems so i did not even look at them so i was like mainly focusing on aptitude and like the subjects that i had covered i attempted all the questions and like mathematics i had not covered at all but like from some basic ideas and something i was able to answer a few questions so that was a bonus but apart from that measurements emft some questions i was able to answer from my college curriculum only. okay like basic aptitude you had and with the basic aptitude you were able to answer those questions yes like power electronics i was studying in this semester only like fifth semester so that like those questions i was able to attempt which i had not previously revised for my separately for it okay okay so uh, now can you just say like uh, you told that you covered network theory and algebraic sum preference so what kind of difference you feel like when you study these subjects and from any other materials also you have studied so any difference you feel wh while studying these subjects yes actually i would like to say this that whenever i'm studying from prep fusion there is always a uh, like a very in-depth understanding it's not like that we are only going through this because of the gate examination like we can use this knowledge in any field like i said that i was preparing for my internship also so at that time and also for gate like this knowledge is applicable everywhere because like it's going very depth like very in-depth knowledge so that i think is very different it's not dedicated solely for one purpose only like not very formula based or anything yeah like we focus more mainly on concepts and that concept is getting used everywhere either gate or your interview preparation anything so yeah so that was like great thing so you didn't even complete the whole syllabus still you are able to get this great mark so what was your exam temperament basically so when you are at the exam you told that i will just skip basically whichever i did not study i will just skip those questions and i will just attempt those uh questions so uh when you were attempting so did you feel like i will get a rank under 100 500 or like it was like whatever happens happens i will just not think anything i will just i see the question and i, and it's, I just attempt so my strategy basically was like which uh, that i will attempt M for MCQs, I will attempt whichever I am very sure. And for MSQs and NATs, I can like take some chances and attempt. So like apart from that, I was not very confident about my examinations to be honest. Because I my preparation was not up to the mark. So I thought that I will like score around 30 or something. So I think it was better than that, which is good. That's all. Okay, okay, yeah, that that's like a, like our viewers can definitely learn from this, uh, uh, like uh, all these uh, tips. So, like, of course, she has a, a year, and of course, she will again prepare this year. And I, 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 hundred percent, I'm sure that this next year the rank will be uh, even better. Okay, so yeah, any parting words that we want to give, any advice, suggestions that we want to give to uh, the students who are in second year or first year, like, should they start early or like should they like. Uh, a start a bit later like what is the tips that you want to give so uh, i'm not like i would say, want to say that whatever we are studying in our college or wherever like from youtube uh, i think that whatever we are st studying we should like understand the concept very well so that even after one or two years we can like apply that concept uh, otherwise like if we are not getting time like something happens which does not allow us to prepare very effectively for gate then at least we can refer back to those concepts and like answer some questions which we initially thought that we won't be able to answer apart from that i think that like starting of second year is good enough to like i did not do that but if anybody can do that then i think it's very good but you did not do that but still you are getting a very good rank like people still want this in their final year drop here also this rank is like totally fine so yeah okay yeah thank you sumeda thank you for coming over to our channel we hope whatever you wish you get obviously you have your internship as well we hope it goes well so yeah guys thank you thank you for joining in this uh, channel and we will see you in the next video until then happy learning Thank you everyone for watching the video till the end. If you also want to prepare in the same manner with Prep Fusion for GATE 2026 and 2027 examination, then you can visit our website and apply the code TITANS15 on all our paid courses and you will get 15% off.
the complete information regarding all the courses have been shared in this particular video which you can check out by clicking on the link that has been posted in the description box. Best of luck to everyone and happy learning.